gorge. We forgot to fill Master Yen Sid in on what happened. Should we go back? Hmm. You mean about Maleficent and Zigbar? No. The others have already got enough on their plates as it is. Why go stressing them out? The three of us know how to handle a couple of old adversaries, right? Yeah, I guess. But doesn't that thing Pete said bother you? The black box? Come on, we're talking about Pete. That means it's probably no big deal. Oh, I don't know. Oh, cool! The trams are still here! So, uh, it hasn't been that long. Feels like it. Maybe you're feeling what Roxas feels because he misses home. Mm-hmm. Actually, I ran into Roxas in the Sleeping Worlds. It was like seeing into his heart for the first time. And he was in the data stand, too. Uh-huh. It was a test to see if your data version was ready to face the hurt that you carry inside. Was I ready? I do know hurt. When I lost Riku and Kairi, and later when I lost the Keyblade, and you guys had to go on without me like that? Having no one to turn to was the worst kind of hurt, but that just shows how much you mean to me. Carrying around a little hurt can't be all that bad. Hurting is part of caring. Of course, any Sora is still Sora. So wait, if Roxas feels something, then we're in the right place. Roxas, I'm gonna find you. Huh? What is that? Nobody! <gasps> Nice fighting. Thanks, Sora. Hainer, Pence, Olette, it's been ages. What? It hasn't been that long. You see? Donald, Goofy, how are ya? We're good. Howdy there, Olette. So does this mean that weird stuff's going down again? You kidding, uh. Pence? When have we ever seen a tornado of shadowy blobs before? It's not weird. This is underprecedented. Hmm, I guess it is. The creatures from the last time were bright white. These things must be new. Man, I can't wait to get to Sleuthin. We're already done with the school project, silly. Whatever's going on, you wouldn't be here unless you had a good reason. Which is? Well, actually, we're looking for Roxas. Roxas? That's funny. I don't know any Roxas, mm. but the name sounds familiar. Maybe we bumped into him somewhere. Uh, that's one way to put it. Actually, he might have been friends with another version of you. Hmm? This photograph. Yeah, we've got the same one. Oh yeah, the other Twilight Town. It's like one of those Spot the Differences puzzles, except really easy. I guess in that town, we're friends with this Roxas person. Sora, let us help you track Roxas down. <laughs> really? Sure, he seems like a pretty cool guy. <laughs> yeah, he is. Great, then let's all go ask around town. If alternate us knew Roxas, then maybe alternate other folks did too. Mm -hmm. Sora, you three should go to the place in the photo. It's the old mansion. The three of us will cover places in town. 
Thanks. Oh, yeah. I got this phone thingy that takes pictures. <laughs> Want to snap a photo while we're all here? Sure. That's a great idea. Hmm? <laughs> 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 Wait. Who's taking it? Oh. Hmm. <sighs> Hey, tough luck. You drew the short straw. It's okay. Oh, I'm sitting out of the photo with you, Donald. Can you take the photograph? <laughs> Everybody smile. <laughs> wow, that came out great. Oh, a lucky emblem. Lucky emblem? Oh yeah, they are huge right now. Supposedly, these things are hidden all over town. And if you get a picture of them, they'll bring you good luck. Cool! <laughs> Wait, look guys, is that... <laughs> You're right! I see it too! <laughs> I knew it! Good luck, because they're not all this easy to find. Okay, we better start asking around. You start by checking out the old mansion. We'll catch up. Got it.
guys! Huh? Oh. Hayner! Olette! Uh, hey, boss. Uh, Down with the posters. Uh -huh. Hey! Good work, kids. You guys work for Uncle Scrooge here at the Bistro? Um, do we? He gave us a short job putting up these special posters. Mr. McDuck's hosting an open-air film festival in the courtyard. Cool, huh? <laughs> oh, Sora. Hold your phone up to the poster. Okay. There, you've just downloaded a promo game for the film. You can try it later. You downloaded Uncle Scrooge? Of course, laddie. Provide a bit of entertainment, and then give folks a nice, cozy place to relax. Like my bistro here. They'll all be happy and hungry, and eager to spend their money. <laughs> Uncle Scrooge. Gore, she sure is canny. I always wondered how he keeps customers coming into his businesses over and over. Oh, yeah, I'm no business guy, but I sure wouldn't want to be one of Uncle Scrooge's competitors. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I need to warn you guys. Why? Well, those creepy crawly things might come back for more. So stay on your toes. Sure. But don't we have you guys to take care of him for us? You have to leave again? Mm-hmm. It's a job! But we'll definitely be back. When are you gonna slow down? Sorry. Just do me a favor. Well, what is it? Don't make it too tough. I know how Roxas feels to be lost. But Donald and Goofy, Kyrie, brought me back by wishing with all their hearts. Mm -hmm. So, I was hoping the three of you would do the same and wish for Roxas. What? That's it? <laughs> That's no favor. We'll all wish. I'm wishing. Yeah. Me and Pence, too. <laughs> Thanks. Have him surrounded. Oh no! Watch out! Yeah!
Is the food ready yet? Huh? Hmm? He hasn't started? Huh? Whoa, whoa, hold on! Hey, hey! Oh no! Oh, whoa! Would you... Uh, you're gonna make me cook? Bless Whoa. my bagpipes! It was you laddies who rescued mm -hmm. my chef! I can't go strong! Huh? Wait, didn't he sell ice cream in Hollow Bastion? That's right! But Uncle Scrooge here is what you might call a world traveler! Cool! <laughs> How are you, Uncle Scrooge? Oh, hello, Sora! You're looking hale and hearty! I heard you were on another grand adventure with these two. I hope Donald isn't making a menace of himself. Uh, why did you have to say that? So, Uncle Scrooge, what's that you were saying about a chef? Oh, right, right. The chef of me bistro here wanted to show you his appreciation. So, he baked this for you. Hmm, what is it? Wow! Cake! Hmm? The whole cake? It's for us? Huh? I mean, uh, settle down. Uh, the chef wants you to know it's not a cake, but a tart of fruit. He does? Why keep it under my hat? May I introduce Little Chef? Oh, oh it's you! Uncle Scrooge, you open the bistro and try on town. Hi. It all started a little while ago when I was enjoying one of the best meals of my life. And when I asked to speak to the chef, I met this wee genius. As it turns out, he wanted to expand his culinary horizons. So I thought, that's an opportunity. And I financed the whole operation. Ooh, I think he wants to cook some more for you. Fetch some ingredients, especially anything unusual. That'll be fun, kind of like a scavenger hunt. And the more the better. The mark of a truly great chef is creating masterpieces out of anything. You can start right here in town. We'll do anything to try more of Little Chef's food. Yeah. That tart sure did look scrumptiously delicious. Okay, the ingredient hunt is on. <laughs> <laughs> 